Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Akili, and today I have a review video for you guys. So first I want to apologize for not posting any new videos recently. If you follow me on social media, mainly Instagram, then you'll know that I was dealing with finals and a bunch of school projects, but that's over now. I will be starting a new quarter soon, so I hope to post more videos, but we will see how that goes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, I want to say that the company Chacola has sent me these products for free in exchange for my honest review. So these markers are chalk markers, as implied by the name Chacola. And I think they are mainly intended for kids or for maybe teachers, schools, um, people that have kids or may want to experiment with these chalk markers. They sent these to me to experiment with, and I definitely never have used anything like it. Um, these are best used on windows, chalkboards, plastic, lead boards. Um, they can be used on mirrors. I used it on a picture frame, any type of glass or like non-porous material. They can be used on any of your typical art supplies, like paper and sketchbooks and canvases and such, but they won't have the same effect. I do not believe they are used for cement or concrete like regular chalk would be because they are markers and not actual chalk. Now I received two packs. One of them contained the jumbo sized ones and then the other one contained the, I guess, normal sized ones along with some metallic tipped markers, which I thought was a cool bonus. From Amazon, it seems like the jumbo pack retails for about $24, whereas the smaller pack with the bonus metallic pens retails for about $20 or less. So let's go ahead and talk about the quality of the markers and what I use them for. So in order to get the ink out, it's kind of like the paint markers like Sharpie has. Um, where you have to shake it up first and then continuously press down on the nib on a flat surface and that will disperse the ink. Uh, it's kind of common for the ink to spill out or kind of overflow. I've had that happen to all the paint markers that I've used so it doesn't seem like it's a defect or anything. You just have to make sure to wipe off the excess before you start painting. I found the jumbo pack to be a little more leaky than the medium sized one but they also have different nib sizes so the jumbo pack is a chisel tip but it's not an angle it's a flat chisel tip uh, whereas the medium slash small size is a bullet tip so you have more control with that i personally think that the jumbo size ones would be good for windows or you can use it on a car window i can also imagine this to be a good choice for kids they are non-toxic and they can be easily wiped off with a wet towel or even Windex. So as long as you have that around and it's not on like paper or clothes or anything that would hold the ink well, then it will wipe off easily. Now what you see me doing is I'm actually drawing on a picture frame because I don't have a chalkboard around. Um, it is just glass and I got it from like the dollar store. So it's not like it's hard to find something that you could paint on, but I wouldn't recommend it just because it's such a, such a small surface that I don't think that's what these pens or markers were meant for. Now when using these, I found that they did not dry very quickly. Um, actually, it's still drying right now as I'm recording this and it's been about 20 minutes, but I also did use a lot of ink. So I would assume if you were to use it on like a car window or a window, where it faces the sun or heat that it would dry much quicker and if it's on a larger surface. I also tested these on my sketchbook paper and um, the jumbo ones tend to disperse a lot of ink. My orange one did kind of explode a little bit so I would be wary of that. They do dry in a chalk-like consistency so if you wipe your finger across it um, you get the color dispersed on your hand like chalk. And don't worry, it comes off very easily with soap and water, so you don't have to worry about getting on your skin or, like, infecting you or anything. <laughs> they dried a lot quicker on the sketchbook, but they still took a little bit of time to draw to dry. 
um, especially in areas where it was highly concentrated with ink. They did, however, dry it within five minutes, so I'll give that much. If you want to use it for crafts or paper, you know, things that are on porous surfaces, then I would say go ahead. They dry a lot quicker that way, but if you use it on anything else that would be easy to wipe away, then I wouldn't suggest touching it for like the next hour or so to be safe. So I decided to have a little fun on the picture frame and just draw some girl, just to see how well I could use this uh, new product. It was interesting, actually. <laughs> it was kind of fun. And um, looking at it now, it has dried a little bit. The brown has dried and um, the black is still glossier, but I think the black dries glossier than the rest. The rest of them dry in a matte kind of finish. I did have fun with it. It was very experimentational and it was challenging because when the colors mixed together, they did not blend at all, which I kind of expected because they're not alcohol-based markers, they are chalk markers. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you're working on a non-porous surface, make sure it is completely dry because if it's not dry, it will bleed. So as long as your surface is completely dry, then it will be fine. So lastly, I want to talk about the metallic markers that the medium size pack came with. These ones dry quickly and they kind of leave a silvery, glittery finish. So that is my review for these markers. Um, another big thank you for them sending it to me. Overall, I have to say that these products are good if you plan on using them. But if you don't plan on using them, then I wouldn't get them unless you really want to experiment with them. But Personally, I don't think I'll be using them unless I plan on drawing on my mirror or on my window. If you guys are interested in them, I'll leave links down below to where you can purchase them. Um, and that's about it. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me today and for sticking around even though I haven't been posting videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!